This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from Flame9VisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn really amazing sand particles logo and text animation. So let's see what we will create today. Please hit the like button if you want more tutorials like this and if you are new to my channel then please hit the subscribe button it would be really appreciated. Before I start the tutorial I like to tell you in this tutorial I am using third party plugin Trapcode Particular. If you don't have this plugin then please check the link in the description box below. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition let's call it emitter and I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 8 seconds long then click on ok ok now import our logo and project files you can download these project files from link in the description box below ok now select our logo then place it into this timeline now make it smaller something like this now select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes then rename it to logo then click on ok now select our sand texture then place it into this timeline now make it smaller something like this and then simply change the layer track map to alpha mat now select this logo layer then press ctrl plus d then turn on visibility then go to effect and preset window and search for fill now select this effect and apply onto this layer and then color set it black then again add bevel alpha and then increase the thickness maybe 10 and change the um, uh, light angle then increase the light intensity then change the uh, layer mode to screen now select this layer then press ctrl plus d now change the angle and decrease the light intensity perfect looks good to me now select all layers and right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to sand logo then click on ok ok now select this layer then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then create a shape something like this and then go to bringing up this animation then press V then double click on this shape then rotate and change the position something around here now go to max one then um, create a keyframe on max path then go to around six second then double click on this uh, uh, shape then change the position something like this now max failure set it 20 and max expansion set it minus maybe minus 15 design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements. 
and start creating today. Looks good to me. Okay, now go to project window and create another composition. Let's call it main, then click on OK. Now select our BG, then place it into this timeline. Then select this emitter comp, then place it into this timeline. Then make it 3D by clicking here and turn off visibility. Then create a uh, solid layer. So right click new, then click on solid and rename it to particular. Then click on OK. Then go to effect and preset window and search for particular. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Okay, now go to around uh, 20 frames, then go to emitter, then set a keyframe on particle per second, then set it 0, then go forward uh, to or 4 frames, then particle per second set it 1, triple 0, triple 0, and then emitter type set it layer, and velocity set it 0 then layer emitter set it our emitter comp and then uh, go to emission extract and then priority rnd set it 100 perfect now go to particles and particles life per second set it 2 and spear feather set it 0 size set it 2 then uh, go to size over life then use the second preset then go to opacity over life then use the second preset okay now go to shading then shadow light for main set it on now go to physics and physics time factor set it 1.1 then go to air then windex set it 100 and win y set it minus 50 then go to turbulence field and effect position uh, effect position set it 100 and fade in time set it uh, 0.1 and scale set it 6 perfect now go to off system then image set it continuously and stop emit set it 36 then particle per second set it 8 then life set it 3 and feather set it 0 size set it uh, 2 size random set it 100 then go to size over life and use the second preset then go to opacity over life then use the second preset and then color from main set it 100 then go to physics and then gravity set it minus 30 then wind effect set it 112 then turbulence position set it 200 perfect looks good to me Now go to effect and preset window and search for curves. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then change the RGB curves to something like this. Okay, now go to project window and select our sand logo comp. Then place it into this timeline. Now go to beginning of this animation. Then go to effect and preset window and search for linear wipe. Now select this effect and apply onto the sand logo layer. Then whip angle set it maybe 253. Or maybe 256 looks good then go to beginning of this animation and transition completion set it maybe 28 then set a keyframe then go to around 6 second then increase the transition completion to maybe 
Let's uh, add feather to maybe 30. Now go to project window and select our logo pump then place it below the sand logo layer. Okay, let's run to view this. looks really nice okay so now uh, select this logo layer then press ctrl plus d now select the second logo layer then uh, add cc radial first blur and then zoom set it brightest and increase the amount to maybe 90 and then simply change the position now add fill and then change the color to black perfect okay now go to project window and select our smoke layer then place it into this timeline and then simply change the layer mode to screen then select this particle layer then place it into this timeline and simply change the layer mode to screen perfect now select all layers then make it 3d by clicking here okay now uh, create a new adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer then add sharpen then sharpen amount set it 20 okay now create a camera so right click new then click on camera then click on ok then go to beginning of this animation then press p on your keyboard then set a keyframe then select this keyframe and drag it forward maybe uh, maybe 30 frames and then go to bring of this animation then decrease the z value something like this now select this to keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this okay now go to around uh, maybe um, 6 6 second 20 frames Then create another keyframe, then go forward few frames and then decrease the Z value. Something like this. Now select these two keyframe, then open graph editor and then change the graph curve. Perfect. Okay, now create another adjustment layer. So right click new, then click on adjustment layer. Then go to effect and preset window and search for optics compensation. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then go to beginning of this animation. Then uh, click here. 
then set a keyframe on field of view then increase the amount maybe 130 then go to around 3 seconds and then decrease the amount to maybe 60 then again go to around to maybe 6 second 25 frames and now uh, press U then set a keyframe then go to around 7 second 10 frames and then increase the field of view amount something like this now select all keyframes then press F9 now select these two keyframe then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this and select this and then select these two keyframe then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this Our animation is complete. Press you to run preview this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, have a great day and I will see you in the next video, till then peace out.